Hi everyone. Today I'll be explaining about the Scrum Ban methodology. So in the Scrum Ban, it is a mixture of Scrum and Kanban. We have taken some things from the Scrum and some things from the Kanban and we have mixed them and this is how the Scrum Ban is made. We have done this because if a if a project wants a uh, project methodology needs to be changed from Scrum to Kanban as Scrum is uh, quite defined and everything is uh, everything is defined in Scrum and in Kanban it is according to the organizational policies so it is a quite big change so uh, in order that the change is not much drastic and so if we, if we do the drastic change then it may affect the project quite a lot so if somebody wants to wants a smooth transition so firstly they can move from scrum to scrum bar and then from scrum bar eventually they can move to kanban if they want to so let's understand the scrum bar in scrum bar visualize workflow with kanban board utilizes daily scrum work is pulled rather than assigned so uh, in this uh, as we see as we saw in the kanban that work is pulled rather than assign means the team it's the team member itself uh, take up the work from the to do and they assign it to themselves and put that into in progress whereas in scrum product owner assign the works so that is taken from the kanban work is pulled rather than assigned strict work in progress wip limits so as we are as we have in kanban we have a strict work in progress we can set up a limits on in progress testing to do whatever like in progress and testing we can put up the wip limits so that is also in the scrum bar project team roles not clearly defined specialized team role team members as we saw in the scrum that the roles are cross functional the team should have a cross functional functionality that means team should have knowledge of each and everything so the ui person should also have the knowledge of back end but here in the scrum bar specialized team member should be there a person should have a extreme knowledge of a particular thing such as ui back end like this so there are two type of scrum bar itself scrum bar continuous flow so scrum ban continuous flow is more kind of a scrum of a kanban model so in the continuous flow fluid movement of work no time boxes pull items into doing based on team capacity plan at a certain number of to do items as we saw that in the kanban we have a limit so we can set up a limit here as well lead and cycle time are the key metrics so let me explain you what is cycle time and lead time cycle time is the total time required to complete a particular thing that means from a to do to the done whereas the lead time is the time from in progress to done so both these are the key metrics for the continuous flow let's discuss the time box flow now so in the time box flow we have a sprints and these sprints would last from one week to four weeks we would be having sprint planning sprint review sprint retrospective meetings use ready sta uh, status to organize work items use lead and cycle time or burn down charts so in the time box flow we can either use lead or cycle time or burn down charts burn down charts in the burn down charts we may see that how much story points are still left to complete that project so that is a burn, burn down chart triage and feature freeze so this feature is used when the project deadline is approaching so so in the in this feature so what we need to do when the project deadline is approaching we need to focus on the uh, on a on some particular items critical task and we need to uh, and we need to complete it rather than completing the whole thing we just need to focus on the critical task so that we can uh, we, we will not miss the deadline we'll able to release before before or at the deadline date 
Thank you. That's all about the Scrum Bar.